What's up everyone? Jay here as always. And today we're playing more Phoenix, right? Ace Attorney trilogy. We're gonna be tint well we're gonna be starting the turnabout Sanav Samurai. <sighs> Already starting with the non-speaking bullshit. Just opening up chat on my phone so I could see it. And all that nifty stuff. That way I could actually uh See who might be, uh, talking to me. Because that would be nice. <laughs> we'll prop it up on an apple over here. And start away. Okay. Let's see what, uh, shenanigans we get into this time. With Phoenix Wright. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. Oh, that's cool. The moon. No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon, for it will be the last moon you ever see. This this is already intense. See you in hell, evil magistrate. Uh-oh. The warrior's swords gleam in, and strike in the moonlight. One is fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Thomas next week's exciting episode! The Dark Messenger returns! About time? What do you mean about time? I'm sorry. <laughs> that rocked! I kinda wanna see that episode. See you in hell, evil magistrate! Whoa, stop waving that broom around! Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? Oh, that actually looks really cool, not gonna lie. He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Uh, how young? Um, ten years old? Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only seventeen. That's seventeen, see? I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. They're watching with me. He's really cool. And it's really popular. When I asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Y you and me both, Nick. You and me both, man. Gramps. Well... The Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. Oh, must be slow times over there at, uh... Uh, Wright & Co. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. law offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? That must suck, hoping somebody screws up and gets in trouble so you can pay your rent. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Huh. Uh, hopefully, you know. October 16th, 8.14 a.m. Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Boing! Okay, we get it. Uh, hello? This is Phoenix. No, 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 no! <laughs> Maya? What is it? It's still early. It's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Uh, you mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV! No! I mean, he actually did it in real life! He skewered a villain with his samurai spear. That's not good. I have absolutely uh, no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office, quick, please, Nick. I guess we got our case. October 16th, 9.22 a.m., right, and go law offices. Maya's here, watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor, Will Powers, was arrested yesterday. 
Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo-Old Tokyo. He, is, he was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The Samurai Spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, 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 it's a nightmare. The Steel Samurai is over. The world is over. Well, bring, bring. Yes, Wright and Co. Law Offices. What? Nick! Uh, it's the Steel Samurai. Well, why? Yes. Yes, of course. We'll be right there. Oh, let's go, Nick. Go, go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention. So what? So I've decided this will be our first case. Uh, she's kind of pissed, so I think we're gonna do what she says. We're gonna, we're gonna go talk to uh, the Steel Samurai. Uh-huh. Yep, pretty much. October 16th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Well, that's a big dude. What's wrong, Maya? It's him in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client, that's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but he definitely did it. Murder. At least once, maybe twice. Well, damn. Whoa. What are you saying? Um. Yes? Something wrong? No, no. no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D -d disappointed? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know? I didn't want to wreck their dreams. I, I mean, you're not, like, hideous, dude. You kind of got, like, this werewolf thing going on, but... I mean, we've seen uglier. Oh... I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Whatever the hell that noise. Oh well, what the fuck? <laughs> What's wrong, babe? Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. Oh, she changes her mind like she changes dirty underwear. I guess we talked to him. Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. Yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Glo Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 in the afternoon. But when five came around, <clears throat> and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crippled heap near the set. Kind of an Asian Wolverine? I could see that. Oh god. They took off his mask, and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. He had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The Samurai Spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I... that the Steel Samurai uses as a weapon. Maybe you could explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is? Nick, how could you say such a thing? I I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. What a bitch! Hey! Who's due to this? No, it's alright. Really. 
The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids show. He walks the streets of Neo Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate, although, I guess he did defeat him this time. Sniff. Ah. I see. Neo Old Tokyo comes up with these names. Now, where were you the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studio at 9. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder. Some action hero. What will the kids think? I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right, Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick, let's go. I'm willing to bet 10 bucks she asks for autographs. <laughs> Probably. Alright, so <clears throat> let's uh, move to the studio main gate and uh, see what we do there. October 16th, Global Studio Main Gate. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome. Aren't you excited? Hey, you there! You want in? You gotta go through me. Um. Uh, so sorry? We're, um, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. And it's my job to make sure you guawkers like you stay out. Not guawkers like you stay out. But guawkers. Guawkers, sightseers, tourists. I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Utes today. If something horrible happens wasting your time. Don't what the fuck, woman? Um. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That is her flapping her gums. Um, Nick? Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. Hey! <laughs> Listen, when you're being spoken to, youths today. Um. The studios. So, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. I like how our name is Old Bag. <laughs> in fact, in my younger days. No, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. But wow. This place was really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too. He was... Hammer? The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Huh. Can you tell me about Mr. Willpowers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. This dude is not that bad looking. <laughs> That, uh, like, like Libby here said, he kind of looks like an Asian Wolverine. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was a big chance. Ugh. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. 
Um. What's your reason for suspicion? Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 in the afternoon to 5 when they found the body. I probably should remember those. People, people like that attractive. Oh, you do know a lot of people don't find people like that attractive. Yeah, I know, but still, like, he's not a hideous shud. <sighs> now, the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to that studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 o'clock and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers. Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Why am I betting biscuits? What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oddly if... Oh, if you only knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Satamari series. Should I have heard of that? But there was an incident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. Ha! I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request, and maybe I'll just let you in. Ah, uh, he looks ugly as fuck. Ah, uh, he's not that bad. <laughs> this lady here thinks she owns this place, obviously. Uh, I guess we have to go back to him. Hello? How was the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? All right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. Oh, you're out of line. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? But what? No, I'd never do that. Earlier, you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. But what? That's not possible. I, I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I could get. I know, I I'm sorry. But I swear to you, on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. What did she see? It doesn't seem to be lying. Um, about the security guard at the main gate you know, to the studio. Oh, the security lady. She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. <laughs> yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the big wigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. Girl, she's got some nerve. Mask, man. <laughs> wow, boo. I mean, the poor guy's in trouble. I mean, we don't, we don't need to bash him down anymore. <laughs> Do you think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Of course. 
powers request added to the court record. I just hope this will get me past the security lady. Alright. Let's go back here. Present the letter. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Wait, no. I'm not bashing the person she saw was someone in, the, in his mask. And the dead guy was ugly, not him. Ow! Okay. I got you now. <laughs> My bad! <laughs> hmm. I mean, yeah, the other guy was kind of weird looking. But, I mean, apparently he was dashing to everybody else, so who knows? Yes, yes, I recognize the bold childish scrawl. And you bring up a good point with the whole mask. She, somebody was probably in, like, his mask or something. Pa maybe even the, um, the, I don't know, the samurai outfit or whatever. Powers requests given to the security lady. To think he wouldn't trust his fate on youths such as unreliable appearance. Really? Really. Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here, towards the studios. No going to the right, that's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal, were my instructions. The good detective told me himself, oh, no. Hey, hey, Nick. Uh, there were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you. Jesus, what is with that face? That's a fucking thing of nightmares right there. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents. Guide map of Global Studios added to the court. Uh, okay, we don't need to talk to Old Bag. Outside Studio One. Alright! Um... What's with the big thing? <laughs> uh, and it seemed to have lost its head. Anyway, October 16th, Studio One entrance. Gumshoe! Hey! Aren't you that murderer from the other day? Well, I'm not the murderer, dude. I got off. Uh, it's that confused detective. He, he really is the confused detective, honestly. Hey, pal. You know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so... Hey! If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. You tell him, Maya! Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh, no, I... I'm sorry. Oh, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Uh, hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. Oh, <laughs> poor gumshoe. Right? I, I don't know, he's... I like Gumshoe, but I also know he's kind of, you know, dee dee, -dee. So, I, I don't really know what to think about him half the time. But he's just like, he's like that thorn that's just stuck in your side. He's, he's, he's just in the way. <laughs> that's my endearing character trait. Pal. I'd say he's a character, all right. Me too. Uh-huh. It's Detective Gumshoe. The investigation. 
Like people we know. Yeah, we know plenty of people like that. So how is your investigation going, detective? Well, it's, uh, hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. All right, so detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? Uh, the autopsy report. The latest version, if you please. Huh, all right, all right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. On top to report added to the court record. Time of death, 10.15 at 2.30 p.m. Cause pierced through the chest by a spear. I really need to remember all this stuff because it's, it's gonna come to a head. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. And now the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady? What a charmer. W what lady did you talk to? Huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Oh, of course she would. Way to any detective's heart, right? Remember what Powers said. She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? What kind of evidence? Love how Twitch didn't alert me he started. Uh, we're not that far in it, man. We're, uh, so far, so far we're, uh, helping the Asian Wolverine because he's suspected of murdering his co-star, who was the evil magistrate on the Steel Samurai kids television show. And we're talking to this dumb fuck, and I'm pretty sure you'll see the evil old lady. Yeah. But, uh, welcome to the stream, Indy. What kind of evidence? Well, that, uh, photo. The photo of the stale samurai heading towards the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up there, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah, whatever someone walks by, the camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh, no! Nick, he has evidence. We're finished. Funny for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. <laughs> Don't look so happy when you say that. <laughs> Check your settings. If Jay streams, click the bell and see if it alerts or on. They're on. I made sure to turn them on when I followed. You know what? It does the same to me. So, uh, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure because I follow a couple of people on stream, um, on Twitch. And it doesn't alert me all the time. Um, we'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues. I haven't already. I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We've got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. Yeah, I know. I was one of them. <laughs> but most most uh, security, security officers are buddy-buddy with cops. Let's see. 
Um, let me examine here. We'll do this. Hey, there's a camera here. That's a security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went where. There's a number plate on the camera. SD1307. That must be the camera ID number. What the hell is this thing? The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. But what kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Right to Studio 1, left to Studio 2. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. It took that tree down with it too. Okay, well then... Then just Studio 1. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check out. Uh, check it out, Nick. Hey, it's locked. Looks like you need a card key to get in. It makes sense that they would want to keep the non-employees out. Huh. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to talk to Old Bag. Nick, look, that security lady is in the guard station, stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough so she doesn't need the teeth to chew them. Hey, you! Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? After my stream, some guy wearing a raptor fursuit head and body painted green sent me a naked DM on Twitter saying, Who do you like reptiles? Um... Um, moving on. She had to make my life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Why, Indy? Just why? <laughs> Photographic proof. What did it you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Huh. Oh, that one. I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took that photo. Everything else, I love how sweet just you were to that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Like, a dude in a lizard fursuit head thing. I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, oh, anyway, just sort of left from here is the gate with the camera that took that photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see? <laughs> the guard station is in central position. No matter where you go here, you, you pass by my station first. Now, poor Hammer went to studio, murder one, yeah, 2.30. The only one I see go through here one that powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one who, what did it, not the, if he's not the one what did it, I don't know who did it. That's a typo in game. If he's not the one who did it, I don't know who is. She looks like your typical angry old lady down the street. She is the typical old lady down the street. Maybe it was you. <laughs> Good one, sonny. She thinks I was joking. Was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was, past tense. Oh yes, he was great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He's shown the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate is a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who could blame him? Automatic camera. About the security camera. Oh yes, uh, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through the gate, see? 
then it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture, too. But I don't, I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos in the computer over in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. She probably has a bunch of cats. I... I wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't put it past her. The computer that runs the studio security camera. Oh, God! No touching! An overhead map of the studio. Right from here is the employer area. To the left is the actual film studio. The main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. Okay, but what? Uh, I doubt I had to present that. What's that you're giving to me? Absolutely not. Okay. Uh. Player? Yeah. Okay. Crazy angry cat lady. <laughs> <clears throat> October 16th, Global Studios employee area. Nick, this is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey look, there's Powers dressing room. No one's here so this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Um, let's examine some stuff. The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Ew. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Hmm. T-bone steaks, that would have hit the spot. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? Okay. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Well, Nick, you know a lot about the industry. Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Uh, it's so normal. I was expecting some cool themed snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. But wait, look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this! Ladies first. Uh, I, I guess. The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick, let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find something as a souvenir. Problem is, bit of a child. <laughs> and alright, Indy. Go get your food, man. What do you mean, find? You never know. There might be something like the samurai spear. We don't need a spear. And that's the murder weapon for crying out loud. Alright. Let's move into the dressing room. See what we can find in there. October 16th, Global Studios dressing room. Powers dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right. And there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth. For his sake. I honestly really do hope he's telling the truth. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. Okay. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach. A separate stomach for sweets, too. How many stomachs does this girl have? <laughs> There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of his costumes. I'd say you were already wearing one myself. Very true. Hmm. This must be Power's bag. Hey, don't open that. Look. An employee key card. That must be Power's. It says Studio One. 
Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow? Card key added to the court records. Now we can get over to Studio One. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Oh. This is the wig he used in Samurai Boogie Woogie! <laughs> Nick, try this on. No! And how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? I am um, kind of like samurai movies. Kind of. Alright, well, let's at least check it's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess it is kind of dusty outside. I mean, this is... They always have mirrors like this and dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky, just like I like it. Well then. Wait, the bag doesn't have a check mark? Nowhere else is inside. Oh! Stop that. My partner a thief of training? Now it does. <laughs> because we had to stop her from taking shit. Uh, thanks for that, babe. You have a good eye for things. Alright, employee area. <clears throat> studio main gate. Outside studio one. Uh, examine. The entrance to studio one. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this card key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. It opened. Alright, we're in. <laughs> She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. Alright, we can get there now. <coughs> October 16th, Studio One. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you shivers, Nick? No. Wait, tape? It, it's so, so, so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. I honestly think... I honestly think it's... It's somebody who was wearing the, um... The... The steel samurai costume. I don't think it was Will Powers. But, uh, you can honestly never tell. But, I do think it was somebody wearing the costume. Wow, look at that camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Well, it's heavier than I thought. Hey, you, no touching that. Uh, it was her. <laughs> she did it. Uh, um, sorry. My partner is kind of, you know. Wait, they didn't show you the pic? No, they didn't. And I didn't have the option to see the pic. You know, no, I don't know. Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff. Moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP, oh, Will Powers. WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit. But do what you can for WP, okay? About time somebody who likes the man. He'd never hurt a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. Day of the crime. Did you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well... The studios isn't doing so well right now. 
and yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequence in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area, that's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. When I saw WP go into his dressing room, but I didn't see either of them after that. If you go back and look, I know I went kind of past it uh, rather quickly, but the black and white pictures, the first black and white picture that she showed us, it looked like the the spear broke. So I wonder if that's going to play into it. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No. I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private. What kind of girl do you think I am? But what kind? No, no, I I'm sure you're a fine girl. Um, sorry. So much for getting a confirmation of Power's alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Huh. Um, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue. A lead. Well, I don't know about that, but the day... Just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yeah, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. It was the only I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. But really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. Back with food. What you got, Wendy? Hopefully it's something good. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Well, then let's talk more about this. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes. Let's, uh, okay. uh... Pizza Pockets, Andy! That's all you need to say is Pizza Pockets! Yes, I, I think. I think doesn't cut it. An eyewitness testimony. Nick, what about that security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Uh, Alright, but I do want to examine some more stuff around here. Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. But actually seeing your actions are too good to Yeah, but bite me, Indy! <laughs> Alright, sorry. This girl is out there. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick. Take a look at that. One of those black and white boards that clap at the start of filming. And look! A megaphone! A real live megaphone! Ready, Nick, action! This girl is more troubled than I thought. The outline where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few bloodstains. 
I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. I guess that's it, right? Look like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course, that's the mountain, Neo Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo old Tokyo. Oh, right. Wow, look at the camera. It must cost a ton. Yeah, oh, okay. And that's about it. Alright, well, let's go and talk to Miss Old Bag. The online looks like a transform. It does look like a transformer. Let's see. Okay. Studio One Main Gate. October 16th, Google Studios, Main Gate. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Possibly. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Alright, you better tell me quick and tell me quick and you spiky headed creep. Yeah, whatever. Someone's was complaining about the work I do. <laughs> um, uh, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her, she's not even a full-time employee. All you youngins are like that nowadays. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I. She's flapping her gums again. Damn, demon lady over blood. Yo, she really is. She left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Yeah, we could get that picture. The computer that runs the studio cameras. Nick, maybe we could see that photo of Powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Yeah, we should. Okay, let's give it a try. This is illegal as shit, by the way. <laughs> you know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just had to enter a few numbers. Let's see. First, I need the date of the murder. It looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. 1 p.m. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Uh, oh, shit. Which one was it? Um. Damn. I'm going to try this one. There. Enter. Hey. It printed out the data from that day. Let's see what we got. You can't tell that was him. Rip. <laughs> I, I got it. No, oh, no, rip. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine a detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm. Rip in peace. Something's printed on the back. October 15th, 2 p.m. Photo number two. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Somebody deleted the first photo. Powers photo added to the court record. So who was the first person to go by? Hey, hey Nick. Can't we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. 
Alright, we'll put her in her place. Demon lady did it. She deleted it. Somebody had to, and she's the only one that really works those that computer. That's yeah, what it said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, the guy that died. Yeah, but they were open about who... About him going by. Maybe he came in with somebody else. Maybe. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I have... Than I gave you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Uh, I... Why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady. <laughs> it could be. So, with that, I mean, that that's just not enough proof, honestly. I really don't think that's enough proof. Because anybody could put a suit on. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see. October 18th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Oh, and it's Edgeworth again. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Edgeworth officially must have a beef with you. Yo, he does! He honestly does. <laughs> I see. Very well. I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well. I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Oh, joy. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case into the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studios, you see. This here is the employee area. The actor did a run-through of their action scene during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Is it me, or does this detective seem really fucking huge? Yo, he's a big dude. <laughs> Past the security station, there is a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the production assistant. Why does everything that you talk about, Tam, sound sexual? I didn't mean it sexual way that time. <laughs> No, I honestly think he was talking about, like, his stature. The, the detective looks like a massive human. <laughs> All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff to the Studio One 
came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. That's a big ol' hole in his chest. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear was found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone would like to hear that again? Hmm. So listen to the whole thing again? Nah. I think I could probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. But if the spear was broken, how did they use it? How did they get it back together? How medieval. Samurai spear added to the court record. Your Honor. Sorry about my squeaky ass chair. This case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? You don't ask that because she has a vendetta against powers. Uh, understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Oh, uh -huh. we get to fight the old lady now. Will the witness declare her name? Hmm. My, aren't you a handsome fellow? Oh, God. So I bought an MK trilogy on Blu-ray. MK1, MK2, and MK Legacy, uh, Legacy, or whatever. I've only seen the first two movies. That's pretty much it. Uh, the first one was great, the second one was kind of trash, and I don't know what Legacy is. Why aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> your, your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please! <laughs> it seems Edward has a bit of trouble getting his witness to say their names. Wendy old bag, dearie. So just call me Grandma and uh, uh, she's doing this again. Fucking hell. But I thought she asked everyone to remove their mask because she's always suspicious. No, she only did that to Powers that one time, he said. Objection! I object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I'm just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? It's actually her last name. Eh, Wendy, Wendy Oldbag. Yes, see, I was there. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. Yes, she is. That's actually her name. <laughs> Yo, this ain't even the best one, dude. Some of their names are freaking outrageous from what I've seen, like, pictures I've seen online and whatnot. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run-through ever since the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Investigating, interesting to me because a certain man walked by, right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading toward the studio. I don't... I really don't think it was him. I think it was somebody else. You saw the defendant, then... Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Witness account. On the day of murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Okay. Let's press her to see if it was, like, exactly 1. 
Austin Powers, baby. <laughs> so, up until that time, anyone who wanted to could go into the studio. Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate, no. But the main gate was locked, dearie. You need an employee card key to get in. Alright, the card key that I have. So what she's saying is no one who wasn't supposed to be there could get in. Was there anyone at the studio when you arrived at the guard station? Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since that morning. And we know about that. Oh, well, I had some errands to run that morning. What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers observing. You know. Observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper! I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. Not really. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway. I always watch Hammer's run-throughs. Always. Never missed one in my years. Wow, I want to see a Steel Samurai run-through too. You could quite... Be, you could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now the murder happened at 2.30pm, right? How did you know that? Oh, I have my ways. That overdressed young detective told me. I fed him some donuts and he talked and talked. If you asked me, that detective isn't cut out for his job. Poor Detective Gumshoe getting ratted out by a security guard. Interesting to me because a certain man walked by at 2 p.m. Alright, do you guys think I should press her or present the photo? Because the photo clearly does not show uh, Will Powers. So, what should I show her that photo or should I just press her? I'll wait for you guys. <laughs> I would present first. Present it first? Pr oh, press. Press, okay. Two. You're sure? Sure as spit! Well, who was the man? Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. Ha! Ah, I got confused. <laughs> now, now, don't get your skivvies all in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. It was Powers, that man right there. And he was headed towards the studio. I'm going to present the picture here. Let me get this straight, old bag, or miss old bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. I attack you directly. <laughs> what is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag, is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that Miss that Power that's Powers, right? Yeah. No, they can't. <laughs> Edward, damn. Um. Well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I... I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> that fucking face, man. 
No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss, uh, witness? He's having trouble calling your old bag, apparently. <laughs> However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Huh, <laughs> nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the old, uh, the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. That sounds like him. He didn't even give a second look. This is just getting cartoony. It... That's the charm of this game, man. Like, uh, that that's why I really like it. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof then. Okay, let's see what bullshit she's gonna throw at me. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Obag doesn't even need Edgeworth. <laughs> yeah, she might not need him, honestly. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg, see? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? I, I mean, anybody could drag their damn leg. Huh. So, he had sprained his ankle. Very well. Uh, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Oh, God. Oh, let's press her until she squeals. Um. Whoever's never! I, I haven't said anything yet. I'll have you know I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs. Everything I've said is on the straight and narrow and up and up. You today always whining about... Oh my god. Mr. Wright... Please, for all our sakes, try not to upset the witness. <laughs> Yo, Edgeworth, dude, come on. <laughs> I think Edgeworth has met his match. <laughs> that morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw powers trip and fall. Oh, God. Trip and fall. Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. What a laugh. I never thought I'd start to like Edgeworth. Right? Yo, I... I like Edgeworth. Edgeworth, there's a lot more to Edgeworth that we don't know. Everyone fucking ass. I think even Edge is regretting taking this case. Right? He probably does. So Powers sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? How? I kissed it where it hurt. But let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. Samurai spear? The murder weapon? Oh wait, I thought she hated powers. I... Man, this woman is fooling everybody. Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. 
I don't think that would work. This strikes me as a significant detail. It, I'd better write this down in the court record. The samurai spear updated in the court record. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. He broke one of the frogs. Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. Edgeworth reminds me of a character from Castlevania. He looks like a character from Castlevania. Kind of like, um... He kind of reminds me of Alucard a little bit. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. I don't think that's going to do anything. Dragging his foot. Okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there's one thing that bothers me. Which is... Where is this steel samurai costume now? Possible inspiration design, maybe. It could have been. Um, hmm. Don't you dare insult my Alucard. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, baby. I, I didn't know you liked Alucard. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> that's not important. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Powers. Hmm. I suppose that's right. Are you sure? Are you sure, Your Honor? Object. Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities. But we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. The defense has a point. I prefer Alucard in his giant bat form. If that is him. I don't think that's him. My vampires don't sparkle. They commit genocide. <laughs> I take it you watch the, um... Castlevania show then on Netflix. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else got caught, well, someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Okay, now here's where Edward starts his bullshit. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Uh. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true. Two. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. I need to catch up on that. I know they released season two. Yeah, they did release season two. I haven't seen season two yet. Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio, then I would have to be this steel samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine a witness. Hmm. Time report Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. True. There's a pick missing, though. Yeah, there is. How do you know that? Uh, didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then after some rubbish about it being a secret, pal, he told me everything. That's true, a pick was deleted from the PC. I see Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. The only person I saw to the go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. 
Yeah, I'm gonna just do this. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sonny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway. It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security camp data. Oh, you know... If you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. The very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2 p.m. photo number 2. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number 2. Photo number 2. Oh shit, she is about to be pissed at you. <laughs> The computer only held the data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this be photo number one if it really was the only photo? She about to blow her top. Order! Order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there is only data for one of the photos. Who could have, er who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access. The security lady herself. Yeah, I mean, you watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The that face is just demonic. Holy shit. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, uh -huh. I, I don't understand these new fangled computer things. Um, Edgy boy, help! Uh, but, but believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Huh. Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper, too. Whippersnapper. Something the matter, Miss Old Bag? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> uh, that's right. I, I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. Now she remembers. How come she couldn't tell me this shit before? Oh shit, hitting Edgeworth with the savage insults. A whippersnapper. Mar. Sigh. I see. Your testimony, please. Oh no, the other person. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking to you. Looking. You see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. What the fuck would she throw out photos? But Miss Old Bag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. Sonny, I've only just remembered it. Alright. Anyway. It's alright. Please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but... I kind of expected this. I think everybody has... <sighs> the other person. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. Edgeworth is losing it. 
Yo, she might be like his worst fucking person. Like he had to defend or whatever. How many photos are there usually? On a day when we're open to the public, we get more than 500 people. But on filming days or rehearsal days, well, we don't have much money. We never get more than 50, and that's a big day. Do you back up all of the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just so frustrating. Throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. No, you can't! For the most part. Fucking back up your shit, Grandma! Well, Grandma needs to. Grandma Old Bag. This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out one photo that day. Well, who in the heck was in the photo you erased? Huh, a fanboy. Fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsal from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about one was there that day. Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? Fanboys have killed before, Grandma. <laughs> yeah, they have. I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. Uh, we didn't see this part. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside, and, well, that's where they come in. Come in through a drain? I told you where they were freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. The kids. So on the photo that you erased... It was a boy, probably second or third grade. This this is just getting fucked up. Or order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the Steel Samurai, dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh, yes. Well, we see this type there every day. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I'd think. It's quite heavy. Right. As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? Um, the fuck? Dragging his leg or two kids on top of each other? <laughs> I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Oh god, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Top October 18th, 11.08 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number three. <sighs> Maybe the kid saw something more. I'm hoping, but who the hell is the kid? Yes. Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. So who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? How should I know? 
The steel samurai costume was off in a corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai costume. Lots of damn new info that Grandma keeps remembering. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's gonna remember something else later on as well. I bet you top dollar. So where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick, what are we going to do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Are we going to pin it on Grandma? I hope we're going to pin it on Grandma. Right. But if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick. It's time. Okay, let's go. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. Oh, God. And she's the only one there, so... She has to be the only one that we could pin it on. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. But there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. You killed him, Grandma! <laughs> I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Huh. Very well. Uh, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Well, let's see what you're th fucking... Let's see what type of shit you're throwing at that fan, Nick. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Alright. Okay. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So who was this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed murder? I'm saying it. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Who? The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching this, the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. Oh god, this gets so intense. Well, what? Whippersnapper! Oh, come on. Judge, let this work. Order, order! Uh, is this true? Old Bag. Old Bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you! Miss Oldbag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. But why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. But the assistant knew about the injury, too. No, she wasn't there during that. I don't think the, the assistant said anything about the injury. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh, yeah, right there. Sherlock Holmes, too, baby. That's odd. 
Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Oh, hello. Alright. I thought she was there. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? <clears throat> the prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. <laughs> Edgeworth wants her gone, dude. He just throw her in jail. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it. Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there. Do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this whole new way. The fuck? Edward is so done. <laughs> I have to press further. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? What have you done to poor Edgeworth? <laughs> you forgot that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now, Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of hard feelings, I'm sure. Wait, just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy. The one whose photo I erased. He's only a grade schooler. Though, as you said, second or third grade, was it? But that doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops. Ow. Old bag is gonna give you hell. She's going to give me so much hell, dude. I know she is. Huh. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Or, or, is it be nice to the kids and mean to your elders' day? Whippersnapper. I have proof. P -p proof? Indeed. Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows a boy could not have committed this murder? Ah, oh, shit, what do I show? Plot twist, it's the boy. Your Honor, the murder weapon was the samurai spear. The very spear is shown here in this photo. How could that boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> the windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the court current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Wendy. What's her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. <laughs> Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. Get ready, right? <laughs> oh, she's going to give me so much fucking hell, man. Wait a second. I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me? I'm talking. Oh, shit. Okay, stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. <laughs> Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not to talk about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told you not to talk? <laughs> Rip. Oh, yeah. It, it had to be something, you know? But, well, testify. My lips were sealed. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to be going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Edgeworth at this point is just kind of here. <laughs> For fuck's sakes, old woman. <laughs> Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. 
Why did you keep this from the, cur the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. Oh, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag! <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Fucking hell. We were so done with today. My lips were sealed. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. So you were told not to talk. That's right. By the studio and the TV bigwigs, no less. Clearly not when they told you to say the truth. Why didn't I hear about this? <laughs> Edgeworth is about to just kill him himself. Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through with their action scene without a director? Of course! Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning, all morning for the run-through. He joined the pro uh, producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? <laughs> Edgeworth is just done at this point. He wants to go home and let this day go away. Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Is Edgeworth now helping right? Uh, I don't know. Oh, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey head has fallen. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions. I don't... I think so. Poor man is about to rip his own hair out. I guess we'll continue, right? They said had they said they had nothing to do with it, see? Miss Oldbag, this is a trial for murder. I know that's silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. So you got your bonus and you still talk? Huh. I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. Yeah, let's take a break. Your Honor, we have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and uh, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that... I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. That was an experience. <laughs> it's not over, man. It's not over. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceeding in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Yo, Edgeworth? Edgeworth has to be so relieved that he doesn't need to see this bitch anymore today. Edge Edgeworth not even coming the next time. You feel like it's gonna get more intense as the game goes on. Uh, I kind of feel like that, but I, w I really want to know who the hell murdered this dude. Like... That is all. Now, this court is adjourned. Nobody gonna talk now? Oh, Jesus. October 18th, 1.04 p.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby Number 3. Th thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? It's nothing. 
Oh, or should I... Well, we'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So Pornhub wants to buy Tumblr. Hello, I see you're finished with Turnabout Samurai. Or close. No, we just got done with uh, the Miss Oldbag trial. Oh, uh, she was there and we kind of pinned it on her to buy more time. But, uh, how you doing there, Cole Chris? <laughs> Welcome to the stream, buddy. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick. Have we figured out just who it was that Steel Samurai costume? In that Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been Old Windbag? Oh, good. We got to deal with Old Hag... I mean, Old Bag. No, we pretty much just dealt with her. I don't know if we deal with her anymore. We might. Most likely. But... What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Uh, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Oh, well, she wasn't winning any points in there with... Or without my accusation. No, she wasn't. She is just an evil old woman. Like, like this woman. Like, she broke Edgeworth. Like, <laughs> he looks like a lion. He kind of looks like an Asian Wolverine, from what Libby was saying earlier. <laughs> okay, let's get down to the studios. All right, we'll be back to visit you soon. So thanks. Thanks, guys. Ah, oh, to be continued. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> so now, now I think we gotta go through another uh, like investigation part where we gotta find more clues. If someone could break Edgeworth, they have too much power. <laughs> Yo, she did break Edgeworth, dude. She broke she broke his spirit. She she really did break his spirit. <laughs> Your friend Zika could. Who? I am not sure who this person is. <laughs> October eighteenth, Wright and Co. Law Offices. Phew, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say you think WP's got a chance. I guess that really depends on the people we find out about in today's trial. Oh, you'll see. Yo, he does. Oh my effing god. Now I remember where I've seen him. That game. Bloody Roar. Gato. Oh god. Yo, he does kind of look like him, don't he? The director and producer. Yeah, them. Ready War, my first introduction into anything furry related. Oh, God. Andy, Andy, you, you weird man, you. Well, what are we doing here then? Let's get to the studio. Uh, what to do? Let's ask her about anything before we move. What do you think we should do? What do I? Uh,. Why don't we do what you just said? We gotta get the scoop on this director and producer. <laughs> Alright, then there's no point in hanging around here. That's what I've been saying! Let's get to the studio for any ideas. Ah, uh, we don't have enough information to make a case yet. It's exactly the same thing you said yesterday. Just admit it! You don't have a clue what happened. There's not enough information. Mah, Maya. All right, October. Hopefully, Miss Oldbag is like. Let me look it up. It's a fun game. God damn it, Indy. <laughs> Why? Yeah, yeah, Indy. God damn it. But hopefully, Oldbag is like 
locked up or something. Yo, everybody's coming to that realization now, huh? No one's here. Right now that they have Miss Oldbag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey, in the guard station, look, she left her donuts. God damn it, girl, you freaking bottomless pet! What? I wasn't going to eat them. Uh, see if I can see anything else. Here, it runs the security camera, huh? It looks like it's been turned off for the day. Oh, main entrance to the studios, yeah. Alright, let's move back into the studios. Uh, yeah, let's check the employee area first. Options. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey. Hi, WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Oh, <laughs> don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh, actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that train. You mean that one? Oh, what a mess. I, I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? It's a really good game. So there's a Minecraft randomizer. What the hell's a Minecraft randomizer? Isn't Minecraft just random as is? And yeah, Bloody Roar was a really good game. It was a fun fighting game. Right? Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh, uh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. It randomizes the textures, sound effects, etc. That... It's kind of weird. Uh oh. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldbag. Right. See you later, then. Good luck with your investigation. Okay. Let's examine this. So the fanboys, they were talking about in the trial today. He came in through that drain. So it seems, I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey Nick. If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though, don't you? What, you want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can? Oh, she's serious. Ah, rip it open. Oh, I guess some things are just made to be broken. I wouldn't mind ki I mean, playing with you, boo. Huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes. Hiya! There, that should make the kids happy. The things we do. Okay, the drink grade is off. And I know who did it. Now the kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't it make you feel great to do a good deed like that? Must be nice to live so guilt free. Alright, uh. Slide. Oh! I didn't know we could do that! You know, reading is fundamental after all, right? <laughs> um, I don't really think there's any other thing that we could do. It looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise. Yeah, uh, that's a half-finished backdrop for a stage here. Looks like a castle. Probably Neo Old Tokyo Castle. Okay. Anything else? We looked at these before. The remains of the other day's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean. I don't know why they haven't cleaned it up yet. 
but whatever. Um, okay, so let's go back into the dressing room. October 18th, Global Studios dressing room. This is where the Steel Samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Powers says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Uh, she's got a point, and I just hit my thumbnail. Ow! <laughs> and she would have files, fires all over if it was sitting there for a few days. Flies, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm reading it off my phone because my computer does not like me. So, what's the power's bag? I wonder what's inside. Hey, supermarket tabloids. Oh, I'm kind of shocked. My, leave this alone. Both man found on Mars. I'll have to buy the issue. Maybe the tea and cookies are laced. That, huh. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must deploy cookies and teeth. Wait, Nick, what, what now? These snacks. They've passed the expiration date. Then don't eat them. Rebel, they're snacks. They're meant to be eaten. Huh. You know, that, you actually bring up a good point. Maybe, maybe he was drugged and that's why he didn't wake up. There's something with regular suits among, yeah. And this is locked. Okay. Uh, the wig again. Better go my ass. Some boogie woogie. Get a picture. Yeah, no, no. Shut up, Maya. <laughs> Alright, um. Let's move back to the employee area. We'll move to the studio main gate. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, ho, oh, uh, you look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard, alternative guard fashion thing. Studios. So, how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the, the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the employee area? Yeah, can you believe it? Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular, a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him, though. Huh. Heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director. More the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Huh. Okay, well... Let's move outside Studio 1 and see if we can go to Studio 2. Hey Nick, it looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right, he's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. Producer killed him, calling it. <laughs> you think so? What makes you think that though? What makes you think that the producer is the one that killed him? Remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. 
Oh, that's what we're going to do. Outside studio number two. October 18th, studio two entrance. This place is deserted. The actor was costing too much money or dragging the name down. LOL. I'm sure I'm wrong, but I'm calling it. I mean, it's in the realms of possibility. I mean, anything could have... Anything could give the producer a motive to do it, but... I, I don't know. <laughs> this place... I'm just as clueless as you are. This place is deserted. Crash! Eek! Nick! What was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. A hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Probably the boy. It might be the boy in there. But then how would we get in if it was locked? Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. Alright, time to go back to the damn guard station. Uh, uh examine. Yeah. The security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security lady would knock the stuffing out if she knew. I really want the key to that trailer. Maybe next time. What are we supposed to do? Uh, outside Studio One? Maybe check around in here? I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it is a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. I mean, there's really nothing else. Oh, okay, yeah, she's saying the same shit as last time. Okay, uh... Outside Studio One. Move. Studio Main Gate. Let's go to the employee area again. Maybe we'll see something? I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, same thing. Uh, I don't know, what the hell are we doing? Okay, that... What the WTF? Who are you dudes laughing my ass off? Um... Probably the boy. Kratos, boy! <laughs> Another drain? Try and ask her for it. Who in the ever-living fuck is this guy? Uh, we, we... Wait, you first! Who are you? You're pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, lamers. Yeah, how can you not know the great Sal Manila? Sa Sal Manila. Sal Manila. I make the lead shows. The Steel Samurai. Mine. RTFC. Read the film credits. Really? You're the Sal Manella? Uh, I'm so sorry. I, I just... You look so... Sorry? No, no. Quite alright, really. It's fine. R-O-F-L. What is it? You know, a closer inspection. Mm, yeah, hot, 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 slobber! What the f He looks like ass. Hey, did you do a lot of cosplay? Because that costume rocks yours. Rocks Uh, what, what? Hey, you're drooling! <laughs> huh? Mm. Hello? Buffer over on. You've triggered my creative powers. 
Yes, yes, it's coming to me, Pink Princess. Huh? The sequel to the Steel Samurai, Pink Princess Warrior of Little Old Tokyo. Not, but that's kind of cool art, not gonna lie. R-O-F-L-M-A-O? Pink Princess? Why's it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it be a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? My, we really need to talk about it. Cool. Um. Day of the crime. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you dudes are. That security lady told you about us, huh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Not a meeting from lunchtime in the studio to trailer. Uh, I was so busy I didn't even get the chance to eat lunch. A T-bone steak, was it? <laughs> I officially want to kill myself because of this guy. <laughs> I kind of feel the same way. Ah, sucks, Zors. I hate missing out on food. Nick, what does suck sores mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after four. With the producer and some big wigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gave him an alibi. Yo, for real, babe, the pick of the hat, it matches. Um, uh, about the producer, who was it the meeting with? Was it you? Yeah, whatever. Oh, you mean D. Vasquez. She's a genius. Mad skills all the way. Scary, though, sweat. She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. What do you mean, babe, the pick of the hat? Bigwigs. Who exactly are these bigwigs people who keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors, also a few producer guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. Where all of them? Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired greasers. So, in the picture, the head of the murder is the same as that hat. Huh. Quite possibly. Maybe it was him. Can't examine anything anymore, so... There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must have... Give them to the employees. Hey, Nick! What now? The, the snacks! There was twice this much before. Uh, I, uh, ate them. They were past their expiration date anyway. She's biting her lip and starting... Staring at me with tears swelling in her eyes. Oh... Okay, then. I think... I don't know. Everything in the mirror doesn't always have mirrors in these. Spiky hair. Yeah, there's really nothing else. Looks like someone is sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap. Yeah, everything else is checked in here. So, let's move... Again, employee area. Slide. Studio main gate. Oh god, she's back. Fuck, I'm screwed. I'm fucked. <clears throat> you again. Eek. How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost. You, 
certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spear, a spare st steel samurai costume. I for hell to rain upon you. <coughs> Told me to put it on, can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like you ain't sweet, woman? Okay, there's nothing sweet about you. Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway, know this whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight or an insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. Hmm. This lady's too much. Yes, we can talk to her. Fanboy. Uh, about that kid you said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. And Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. Not the director. The one who was here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Um... Well, okay. Where the hell do I go? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, it seems like if I jump back and forth, I meet more people. She's just gonna kill everyone. She does look like she wants to kill everybody. <coughs> hey, you made a monster. <laughs> I honestly think I did, dude. Hey! Hey, wait! I'll bet he came in right through that train. Oh, hey, um... Kiddio, what's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Uh, but... You are a kid. What a rude little brat! That's no way to talk to an adult! I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. I legit thought his shirt said dick under the text box. It does kind of look like that under there. Hip, hippie fa- Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You got to hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackins. Call me kitty -o again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evil doer. Does. <laughs> uh, Steel Samurai. So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evil doer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai's side. Ha <laughs> You can't fool me. Okay, and what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha, easy. Like some fries with that? <laughs> Not bad, kitty -o. Watch it. What are we doing? <sighs> Whatever, I mean, if she could get the kid on her side, that'd be great. What happened? Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He... He... He always... The Steel Samurai always wins. Always! Huh. Yo, he's hesitant for some reason. I wonder if he really did see the murder. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But... But no way am I telling you losers! Ah, wait! Let me go! Uh... <laughs> kid's got a problem. Yeah, he does. He's gone. Huh. Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? Why was it sitting there? I wonder. 
Empty bottle found on the table in the employee area. The label reads sleeping pills. Oh, he probably upset with rehearsal. Yeah, but no, sleeping pills. I bet they were used on powers. Or powers took them. I mean... Oh, drugged! Yo, he probably was. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Uh... Yo, let's see. Huh? Where's that old windbag? Out of her to leave her post. Hey! Nick, that was her! So stop, whippersnapper! Yes, yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Hatch! <laughs> oh, uh, she tripped? My, sure looks happy. <laughs> oh! Hey, hey, Nick! Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick! The trailer key! The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Alright, let's go. Let's go over there. Go ahead. Let's go. Now, we need to move. Outside Studio 1. Uh, outside Studio 2. Slide over. Examine. Door. wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. Now we're going to get to see what the hell's in there. It opened. Great. Let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Uh, that, not that. Uh, trailer. Dynamite Samurai, Samurai Summer, the slinging, the singing Samurai. October 18th, Studio 2 trailer. Who the fuck are you? We're meeting so many new people. Eek. Someone's in here. Names. Uh, are a name? Um, where where are WP's lawyers and um. I see. Uh, and who might you? D. Vesquez, the producer. She's quite beautiful. Um. Day of the. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script! Excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, can we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. Um, I. Bye. Oh, favor for a favor. We're getting nowhere fast. Um, Steel Samurai. Um, but we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Ms. Vasquez. It's on TV every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV. The nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director, Sal Manella, was it? What uh, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Uh, are all the people in the entertainment business this weird? It's starting to look like it. No, there is a script. On the, um... On the chair in the murder scene. Look, let's go get... Yeah, I want... Wait, yes. If you see Manella, give him this. Well, why do we have to do your errands? I... I don't think I like her. <laughs> I'll cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. <laughs> Alright, we'll give it to him if we see him. Remember, reads, bring me the script of our episode 13. I'm gonna move over to the murder site. That's a studio one. We're gonna go inside studio one and we're gonna examine because this, this looks like a fucking script. Hey, look, that's the chair the director sits in. Black whiteboards, clip. 
And this is the same shit she said before. Yo, the guy should be passed out in Power's room. Right? Talking about her like she's a beast. <laughs> okay, I, I guess that... That's for reflecting light. Okay. Let's go back to the damn... Employee area. I thought that may have been the script. That's a group. Okay. Uh. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Uh, bring me the script for episode thirteen. Episode thirteen. Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Oh, my ass is pwned if I don't find it. It probably is a script. You just can't activate it yet. Yeah, I'm going to go back and try again. Nick, it might be quicker to just look all over the place. Where he's likely to have been. I agree. Well, he's likely to have been in the, uh... Where they were, uh, doing the, uh, the rehearsal. That's why I think that's the script. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick. Okay, that was different. So this has to be it. Hey, look, that's the director's show. I always wanted to sit one night. Take a look around that chair for me, would you? Okay. Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he'd left it somewhere? Ah! Found it, Nick. The script. Good work. Script placed in the pocket. Okay, yeah, alright. Let's go bring it back to that bitch and see if she'll talk to us. There's so much moving around. Here, we found it. Your script. Uh -huh. Script handed to D. Vasquez. Um, uh, is she still going to be a bitch? You're not going to talk to us. Quiet. I'm reading. Bitch. Just hold on. What's the big deal? Or idea. Who do you think you are anyway? And, and do you even know who we are? Power's lawyers. Um, right. Am I a suspect? No, no, it's just, well, no, but you wanted to know about the day of the murder. Okay, thank you for talking to us now. Yes, anything you could tell us would be helpful. You know there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. Uh, path? Wait, what? We're presenting? Okay. Oh, god damn it. Blocked path. On the day of the murder, the path that led here was blocked. And uh, tree and head. The tree and head, okay. Yeah, alright, yeah, I remember the monkey head knocking over the tree. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head? Oh, right, that... What an original name. So someone knew about it and didn't want them interfering. Huh. Maybe. Maybe it was something to block them. His head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. And they didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? 
Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer, stuck until after 4. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus none of us could have gone to the Studio One. What? It's true. A crane came just after 3 to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd corro corroborate my story. But, but wait. What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30 is the time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it was broken, it announced the time in ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ooking. Is It is a monkey after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15. That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio 1 at 2.30. See? Goodbye. I hate this woman. I hate this woman more than the pink bitch from the last trial. I think someone hated Ooking. I, I, a little bit. I, I think she, uh, she didn't like it much. What did we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. I, I guess so. Huh. What the hell are we going to do? Still gives someone time to slip out, though. It does give them time to slip out, but if they're innocent, which I really don't think they are, that that director gives me the creeps, honestly, and she was just a straight up bitch. So I don't I don't know. October eighteenth, right co law offices. Now what? We're finished out of clues? Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for you giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Oh! Mia! The dead woman's back! What a wonderful time to be visited by ghosts! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Alright. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. The hot dead woman is back, right? <laughs> My Maya should uh, kind of wear bigger clothes if she's going to channel her sister because those tits are popping out. She's too focused on the script, and if she brought the place back from destruction, then why would she kill someone who is keeping the place alive? I mean, you have a point. But then again, why would the director kill somebody that's acting in something that he tried hard to bring to life? I mean, if that's the case that rules both of them out, then who the hell murdered this guy? What did you mean, we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But, but no way am I telling you losers. <clears throat> I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you could find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. We just got back to the office. Boy, oh, the camera? That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. 
Fine, we'll go back to the dance studio. Oh, God. Robo Studios, main gate. Puff, 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 puff. What's wrong? Puff, 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 puff. Uh, Whipper snapper! <laughs> She's been chasing that boy this whole time. Puff, puff, when. When I can catch him, I. I don't know, she hasn't had any luck catching him. Puff. I got a hostage now, Whipper snapper. A hostage? The hostage. What's this about? A hostage. When that boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. He'll, he'll come back for this one. She's going to destroy that boy if she gets him. She's going to fuck him up, dude. It's not even nice. It's kind of hard to understand with her huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. So, no! I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? I wonder. Do we have anything? I mean, we don't need this, right? Or is it this? Let's try this. This old bag. I'm borrowing this, so just so you know. Oh, okay, huff. But just be sure to give it back. She's not as demanding when she's exhausted. Um. This? Hey, that. There's a card, huff. Studio One. Alright, the card key. The Studio One. Puff, Puff, I, I could have visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit... Uh, he died. I was his his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Old Bag? Studio One isn't my turf. You'll let me borrow it, then. If I give her the... Uh, yeah, let's lend it to her. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Old Bag. Third key, want to Miss Old Bag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this and we're done. Deal? What's this? A Steel Samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. Now that we got her hostage. Right, I'm off. Uh, she's off hobbling. Alright, let's we found him over here. And there he is. Dude! Hey wait. Phoenix, was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. Now we gotta chase the little bastard around. Uh, he's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you. Oh god, damn it! He's getting away. Come back. There, he's back. How did she? Hey there. Would you mind helping us out, please? It's Dick Boy shirt. <laughs> uh, I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo. And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Oh, Jesus. Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. <sighs> the Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's the, um, the bomb. Uh, Phoenix is gonna make himself look stupid. Really stupid, Phoenix. <laughs> what would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? Boobs work wonders. 
They do. And she's got a pair of knockers on him that will turn any man flustered. Hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Hmm. Looks like a little persuasion's necessary. Maybe a bribe. And... Wa-boom! Cody, does this look familiar? Hey, my... You are! You are? Huh? You are. You know, ultra rare? That card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this if you help me. But that's my card. By offering me something I already own, you're in... Effect? You're in effect? A swing? What? The very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. And for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. Well, what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever. I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. I... After I went through all that trouble... If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really? Alright, you mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on! Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. I'm going to really start hating that line. And this child. <laughs> premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about stakes? God damn it, now, now what? Now where the hell do we go? Studio 2 main gate. Oh, no, no. Fuck. Okay, move. I mean, there's nobody else around. Who the hell am I going to trade with? October 18, Studio 2 trailer. Oh. Oh, hi. Hello, what brings you here? Well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes. The uh, girl with you, doesn't she seem a little different? By the table. Remember, there was a crash. Oh, okay. When he ran away before, right? Like, is she even the same person as before? Uh, nope, she's the same as always. Yeah, her tits just got bigger, and she got taller, and her clothes got smaller. Somehow. It's what happens when a ghost visits. Okay, whatever you say. Wait, so other people can see when Maya becomes Mia as well? Uh, yeah, from what the anime explains, Maya will take on the appearance of anybody that she's channeling. Okay, whatever you say. Um, did we try to trade the card with her? You know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. Oh! Oh, fuck yeah! I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Uh... Wait. Wait, 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 wait! Ah, oh, we have her card! That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it. Uh... I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card. Is she, like, offering? Oh, but please, I beg you, please trade with me. To trade with you? Yes, trade cards. 
Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card. Trade me a huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Please. Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everybody getting so excited? Yeah, fine, we'll trade. I'll give you sex for this card, sir. I don't know. There you go. Okay. Real. So thanks. And this is for you. Your P card added to the court record. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah, yeah, it does. It was fucking weird. I kind of wish they would give me the option to go wherever the hell I need to go. All in one, instead of doing all this. There we go. Alright, look. See this card? Yes. Wait, that's it? That's the last ultra rare premium card I need? Does everybody need one card? Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Wow, oh, I've never seen him so eager. Alright, okay. How about a trade? You're on. I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, 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 no. Not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. Your RP card given to Cody. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. Oh, the Steel Samurai. So, you like the Steel Samurai? He's so cool. I, I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions, at his life. I'm being lectured by life, on life by a grade schooler. You like him too, don't you? Uh, oh, me? Yeah! I, uh, I love the Steel Samurai. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. Uh, his kind nature. But right? Come on, think of something. I really like his, uh, his kind nature. What a guy. Totally. He looks so tough, but inside he's a gentle, he's as gentle as a kitten. Yeah, so what else do you like about him? Tell me you have to keep this act up. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. Uh, his fighting skills. I'm gonna think of something. I like it when he, uh, he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, wazam! <laughs> the Steel Samurai always wins. Always! Check this out. It's my fan album. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I get... I go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out. My new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You got pics? I love pics of the murder. I hope so. I really hope he does. You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Wanna hear it? The Steel Samurai Path to Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? You always giving me his pictures. Oh, this is good. Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well then, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. Photos of every victory seen in every battle the Steel Samurai has won. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life! What happened? You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody? Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice too. 
I, I saw, I saw everything. Oh well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. Oh, what did you see, you little brick? Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around 2. I had to come in through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost though. I was in there for maybe a half hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The, the Steel Samurai killed the bad guy. He used his samurai spear just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I, I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right, Mia? Yeah. Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. <clears throat> and the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left who it could have been is Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal! Oh, God. <coughs> Tell us what you saw, you sword-swinging bitch! <laughs> I heard everything. This boy here is a key witness. And he's under police protection, starting now. Ah, oh, fuck, he's going on the stand. Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. Ah. Uh, that didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. Wait, there's still that other girl. Yeah, but she said she didn't see anything. The penny chick. What are we going to do, Mia? Oh, hmm. I... I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa! C come to the child tomorrow, please! I need you there! Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great! Thanks, Mia. See you soon. Hey, Phoenix needs to stop, like, leaning on the ghost to help him pass his trials, honestly. But no one saw her. She was behind the scene the whole time. Sleeping pills. Yeah. Well, that is to be continued, so... We'll, uh... We'll call this quits for now. Actually, it's... Kind of late. It's after 12 here now. And uh, we'll pick up where we left off to the next time I, uh, I stream this. And we'll be starting with a trial where they're going to put the kid on stand and screw me over. But, uh, yeah, no, this has actually been kind of intense at moments. And I'm, I'm loving this game. I can't wait to see what happens as we get further in. But, uh, yeah, cliffhangers fuck my life. Next time we have with a new broken edge word. <laughs> I mean, babe, if you want, I could continue. You let me know. Because I'm probably not going to go to sleep. We could do the trial, and then, and then I'll, uh, I'll shut it down. <laughs> cliffhangers fuck my life. But still, uh, this has actually been a lot of fun. I mean, I kind of don't want to stop. <laughs> the game has been, uh, been really fun so far. Oh, we do have Game of Thrones as well, so. Alright, yeah, well, she brings up a point. 
I will call this quits. We will. I'll, I'll stream again tomorrow. I really do want to find out. Uh, I really do want to find out what happened. So, but again, uh, thank you all for coming out and uh, watching and actually helping me along with it. That was actually really cool. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. So, uh, bye-bye.